TGIF, welcome to the Beamish Blogcast, February 24th, 2017, and for the first time in February 2017, we finally had a morning low in the 30s. 35 at the airport, that's the coldest morning in Tucson since January 29th, should be in the low 40s this time of year, but still, to have our first morning low in the 30s for the month of February coming on the 24th day of the month, that's certainly odd to say the least. This afternoon, daytime highs, 6 to 8 degrees below average for this time of year, followed up by nighttime lows in the low to mid 30s. Pay attention, outlying areas of Metro Tucson, chances are you may drop briefly at or below the freezing mark waking up tomorrow morning. So remember the four P's before heading off to bed tonight. KVOA.com does have some of those cold weather prep tips in case you forgot how to get your house ready for the big chill. Into the 20s tonight for portions of Cochise County, mid to upper 30s central and western Pima County off daytime highs in the low to mid 60s. This weekend, very nice. However, winds will start to pick up on Sunday thanks to this trough that's currently off the Pacific Northwest Coast. 15 to 25 mile per hour winds prevailing out of the West Southwest. Another storm system rolls in early next week, specifically on Tuesday, finally getting some model agreement on rain and snow chances. And if you're a rain or mountain snow lover, you're not going to like this news. The trend is drier. GFS model, University of Arizona model, keeping Tucson dry. European model, maybe over a tenth of an inch of rain. So those rain chances are coming down for Tuesday, now at 20% for valley rain and mountain snow odds. A look at your forewarn extended forecast. This weekend, upper 60s for daytime highs. We start to cloud up as winds increase on Sunday. By Thursday of next week, low 70s back in the forecast. Your nighttime lows will begin to moderate after waking up to a very chilly morning on your Saturday. Thanks for logging on. Have a great weekend. I'll catch you on the TV side today for News 4 Tucson at noon.